good day, good evening, good morning, depending on your geographical vicinity, and welcome to another Inventor Tips and Tricks tutorial. This one came up in my office today, and it was like an email came to me from a guy saying, to the words to the effect of, Oi Neil, Inventor's rubbish. I've spent 30 minutes changing the materials on like 20 or so parts, and it would be a really good idea if you could do it quicker. Is there a way that they can get it so that you can update materials faster than having to go to each part individually like this. So right click on the part, open it up. This is what he was doing. He was opening up each part and then going right click, properties, physical, change, material, and then close and then close. And then next one, remembering where he's up to and then right click and 20 or 30 times. And um, he was like, I've got a really good idea. I think it should be done faster. No, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> make it so. I'm like, okay, okay. But, and I was like, do you not realise you can't actually do it? And then that's what spawned the video, and that's where I am today. So this is what we do. So it should be a quick one. Uh, we're going to be diving into the Bill of Materials button here, or if you're on Inventor 2015, it's on the Manage tab, since someone back then thought it was a really good idea to put it there, and then bring it back here. So in the Bill of Materials area, I'm going to do a video on this in the next week or so or a couple of weeks or something it's a big it, it'll be a biggie because there's a lot to do in here but the bill of materials area has three tabs model data which is just essentially your, your, the files that are in your assembly and then you've got structured and parts only which are by default are usually disabled so you can just right click on them and enable them and then that brings up a proper bill of materials and i'm not going to go into all the settings in here because there's like I say, a separate video in our lat so we can use this bill of materials area to manipulate the properties on multiple parts in one go. We can do things in here that you would otherwise have thought you could only do on a file by file basis. One of those things being changing the material. You can't see the material at the moment because it's not there. So there's a button up here on the top called choose columns. Click that. You get this customization box up which you can customize. Way. Make it a bit bigger. Scroll down to material. Hold the left mouse button down on material and then drag it until the cross turns into little arrows and then let go. Uh, you can do this for any property actually, any property that inventor knows about. So appearance as well, that's another good one to know about. So appearance, appear, appearance, appearance and material. And then what you can do is double click inside one of these cells, double click, get the drop down arrow and then say, well actually I want to make this, uh, I want to make it orcot. I don't know what the hell orcot is, but I'm going to make it that. And then... Once it changes that particular part to Orcot, what you can do, it's not, you're not going to get the full effect on four parts. But imagine there was 50, 100, hell, imagine there was 102. Hold down the left mouse button on this little black dot. You see the little black dot there? You, so your cursor turns into like the four arrows. Hold the left mouse button down at that point and then just drag like in Excel and then let go. Oh, oh, look at that! Just saved you half an hour of work indeed and that's how you do it you can do this for pretty much anything so for like uh, this, a description would be another one this particular description right now has a parameter in there but if let's just say this was you know plate you know just say you've got 50 plates and you don't want to type in plate 50 times you could just drag that down and then uh, look at that <laughs> hey uh, I don't know if it works like Excel, actually. I wonder if you if you put, like, plate 1 in. Will it go plate 2, plate 3, plate 4? I haven't actually tried that. No, no, not quite that clever. Uh, but it works for appearance as well. I mean, appearance is a particular nasty one because that is something that you tend to have to go into parts and, you know, click the drop-down list. And you don't have to. You, did, you, did you know you have to? Let's make a grape. Let's make something grape and then just drag that down. Make everything grape. Now, that works brilliantly, providing there's no face overrides there's no color overrides on faces because the very first model i opened up not, not a model i did i did this and nothing changed i was just like for god's sake uh but it was because there was someone had put a color override on faces which this is just a part level color uh faces will override that but yeah that's how you change the appearance material or description or stock number or part number or whatever you want you can you can do whatever you want here part number pt one two three four five whatever and these changes are fed back into the actual parts. So item number two, which one is that? Can I open it from here? Yeah, I can. So I changed the part number to PT blah, 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 blah. There it is. Feeds it right into the part. And the part's now all cut and grape. 
and then you would obviously save it and then everything's done and that's the tip oh and and i forgot to mention I've, I'm, I'm cleverly editing this in at a later point in time don't look at the clock because it just gives the game away but as well as uh, using the drag technique of holding down the thing and then dragging it down like i've just shown you what you can also do is just press Control c and then Control v and you can just paste numbers around here so if you don't want to drag something down because that will affect values that you don't want to change. You can control C and control V, copy clip, copy paste to clipboard, etc. So that can be done as well. Okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna now stop and go back to the bit that I was just about to do, which which was done before I was gonna do this bit. So that's pretty much it. Ta. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, uh, and all that sort of stuff. You know, people, I think people ask you to do at the end of YouTube videos. Bye.